Hi, I'm Brendan for AVT.Bike, and today I'm going to show you how to perform basic free hub service on your White Industries rear hub. But I'm also going to show you how to change your free hub and change your axle because it's all the same process. Let's jump in. So the tools you'll need are a two millimeter Allen wrench, some Philwood Tenacious Oil, and a clean rag. The parts you'll need, you'll definitely need a hub. But beyond that, you'll need the new free hub body. And if yours has Pauls installed, that's great. If not, as long as they're the same type of Paul, you can reuse the ones out of your other free hub body. And if you want to change axles, you'll need a new axle. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is locate the hole in the non-drive side of your hub. On a CLD hub, center lock, you're gonna to need to remove the disc and then it's right there in the splines. On a non-disc hub, it's very visible. And the same with an XMR, it's pretty visible there on the non-drive side. And there are three set screws, so you wanna find one of those to line it up with the hole and then use your two millimeter Allen wrench to insert that through the hole and loosen those set screws. And each set screw needs to be loosened maybe a half to three quarters of a turn. And I like to just keep the Allen in there and turn the axle and let the Allen find the next bolt itself. And then loosen that, continue turning the axle. There's the third one, loosen that. And once all those are loosened, you can remove the non-drive side end cap. On a quick release axle, it can help to tap it out with an actual quick release skewer inserted from the drive side. On a through axle, if it's tough to remove, you can use a dowel to push it out from the drive side. But oftentimes, if you've loosened the set screws, all you need to do is give it a good pull and gently work it off. See, there it comes. And there you can set it aside. And then this bearing cover's just loose, but on these hubs, it's recessed, so it's easiest if you just remove the axle first and it'll just kind of fall out. So then I'm gonna hold on to the drive shell and I'm just gonna gently pull that out. And here you wanna make sure just to watch for pawls because sometimes they'll stick inside the hub, sometimes they can fly out. Not most of the time, most of the time, if anything, they'll fall out. So you just watch for them. And you can separate that. Watch also for the thin washer inside the hub there. It will either stick there or it'll stick here on the free hub body. So now you can clean this. This would also be a great time to replace your free hub body and or your axle, because it's all the same process. But we're gonna say, okay, you've either done that, you've replaced this, which is as simple as sliding it off the axle and then sliding a new one on, very easy. And now you're ready to clean the pawls. So you're just gonna reach in there and pull them off. There they are. And you can take the springs out too just note the orientation. So they form a little hook and the hook is on the outside, facing the outside like that as they sit in. Easy to remove like that. And then you can just clean you know, any dirt, grime off of these in this case, grease. So you can just make sure all that is very clean. And then you wanna do the same with the pawls and really pay attention to the part where they go in the paw pockets and just the teeth, these teeth that actually mate with the drive ring. So you wanna make sure all those pieces are very clean and the springs as well. So then you can go back in and reinstall your springs which it's easiest if you just kind of hook them in and set them down in there. 
So again, the hooked side, this little hook faces out. And when you go to put the poles back in, it's easiest if you use some little tool to press down the spring while you put the paw down in its pocket. And once it's down there about halfway, it'll hold the spring in place. And just make sure to put the paws back in place with the two little teeth facing out. I'm gonna hold that spring down, put that paw in there. Hold the spring down, put the paw in, there we go, and just go around and make sure all the paws work correctly. Then you can put a drop of tenacious oil on the teeth, the pocket of the paw and the spring pocket. So there we've got teeth, paw pocket, spring pocket, teeth, paw pocket, spring pocket. So again, just work those to make sure that works down in there. Set that aside. You go in here, there's your little washer. Clean that off and We'll just set that over here on the axle. A little bit of assembly grease is good on that. Um, we've already got enough on here since it's a new hub. So now you'd go through here and clean your hub out. You can wipe outward on the drive ring teeth to clear any debris off of them. And then wipe this ceiling surface here off really well. And you can put a little bead of tenacious oil on these. Really not much, it doesn't, doesn't need much at all. And then a little bit, just kind of wet this, this O-ring seal here with tenacious oil. You just want to give it enough to not be dry. And make sure your thin washer's installed and reinsert the axle into the hub body. You just slide it in there, and once the the pawls get right about to the hub shell, then you can rotate the free hub body counterclockwise to just seat them in there. That looks good. And then flip the hub with the drive sh drive side down, and then you can put your bearing cap on. It'll have a thin raised portion in the center, and that goes down onto the bearing. Drop that on. Then you set your, your end cap on there. With a through axle one, you need to kind of wiggle the bearing cap around to let it seat down. So when you're ready to do the final bearing adjustment, you'll get a two millimeter Allen wrench. The L style is best. And you'll put the hub drive side down so that you can see the bearing cap here. And you'll make sure that all the pieces are seated, but then you'll actually put the downward pressure on the bearing cap itself, not the end of the axle. And you'll locate the hole in the hub here so you can reach that set screw. And you'll put your two millimeter Allen wrench in there and torque on it using that short end. Then maintaining that pressure, turn the axle Expose the next set screw, tighten that pretty tight with this end of the wrench, which really isn't very tight, but it should feel pretty tight when you're using the wrench like this. So snug that down. And then just to make sure everything's evenly tightened, I like to go around one more time just to verify that all of them are in fact tightened the same amount. They feel good. There you go.